ew. So let me just start this fucking video and I'm already coughing. Um, hey, hi, hello, how are you? Hope you're good. As you. As you can see, I'm still sick. But that, that doesn't matter. That, that, that really doesn't matter, but okay. Um, I'll just start. No one asked for this, but I don't care. Uh, this is a I was in the ex listener. I, I don't know his last name. First name? Last name. I don't know. Made by Kitten T. Kieran T. It's on the screen. I get, I can't say it. I, I don't know how to. Yeah. On what pad? So yeah, let's just get started. St started. Uh, the title of this one shot is "So You Have Chosen Death." You panted for air as you ran as fast as your legs could carry you. The cold air burnt your lungs as you made your way to a large gray building. Quickly glancing behind for any traces of him, you pushed the heavy metal door shut. Wine chan? The team captain looked your way with a concerned look on his face. You guys have to help me, you muttered between quick, shallow breaths. He's coming. Hadamaki and Matsukawa stopped and what they were doing as well. Who's coming? They both asked when sink. Before you could answer them, a lot of bang on the gym door made you squeak. You scampered across the gym floor and into the closet. The entire team's eyes glued upon you. Where is she? The boys turned their attention to the growling newcomer. The first year was hiding away in, in fear as the third year sighed. Where is who? Hanamaki blinked his eyes. He stared through the small crack in the door and whispered to herself, Thank you, Maki. Don't play dumb. I saw her come in here. He marched towards the boy until someone stopped him. Why Chen ran in here all of a sudden, but we told her we were on your side, so she left. Aikawa grinned innocently. He let out a sigh of relief. You had me in the first half, not gonna lie. Like I'd believe that. The spiky haired boy kicked his friend in the leg, earning a loud whine in return. The third years looked at each other trying to come up with a plan that would allow you to live another day longer. She's in the closet. Kyokin Chad! You heard heavy footsteps march their way towards your hiding spot. A tall pile of ma padded mats caught your eye, and you quickly squeezed yourself in between the stack. The door swung open with a loud crash. At this point, the entire team had forgotten about their practice. <laughs> Why? We could either do this the easy way or the hard way. His voice drew nearer and nearer, the high school team noisily peeking into the room. You slowed your breath in the suffocating mat so you wouldn't be heard. Beads of cool sweat began to form on your neck. I'll give you three seconds. You mentally shook your head. Three, he sounds like a mom. Two, I had to scare you one at that one. The gym, the gym's lights came into view as the mats were slowly lifted up. You quivered in fear and shut your eyes, hoping this was all just a bad dream. You felt a hand grab the back of your collar and Violet pulled your body out of the safety of your mats. The brown haired boy held you by your shirt and glared into your fearful eyes. Um, hi! I was when we dragged you across the floor and into the light of the room for the rest of the team to witness. This is the face of a monster. The letter appears to fool you. He set you down near a wall. The team looked at each other with questioning faces. We were turning a weak smile and returned. Matsukawa cleared his throat. throat. Realizing no one else was willing to eat you enough to ask. So, what exactly happened? Yesterday, you decided you'd pay your lovely, loveliest, closest best friend in the, in the world a nice a morning visit for no reason in, in particular. 
You stood out on the tips of your toes to grab the back door key from a small wind chime that hung upon its frame. Excuse the interruption, you mumbled slowly opening the door. The house was oddly quiet, a few dishes stood on the, dry, the drying rack of the, from the night before. The only light lighting in the house came from the natural sun. You qu quietly snuck up the stairs and pushed Ibazumi's bedroom door open. His room was neat as natural, his soft snores being the only signs of life in the peaceful house. Not to mention, he was only in his boxers with his blanket, completely kicked off of his body. You looked at the boy before one of yourself proclaimed ge genius ideas come into my mind, quietly running to the bathroom next door. You grabbed a small container of gel before dashing back. You unscrewed the lid and scooped up a dollop with fingers, letting the gel slide off of your hand into his hair. I was only that off to do his hair, simply running a comb through it would usually do the trick. So today you, try, you decided to treat it up a bit. You carefully spread tons of the substance into his hair while snapping it into a teardrop like shape. The boy grumbled a few unintelligible words before re returning to his zen state. You blew out a sigh of relief and grinned at your handiwork, then made sure to steam up the mirror so you wouldn't see his reflection. He's totally gonna kill me, but it'll be worth it. That's why you look like Jimmy Neutron this morning. Hanamaki doubled over his. Hanamaki doubled over with laughter. D Jimmy Neutron? It's a cartoon. Matsuko grunted. So, really, that's it. Doesn't seem that bad. Kim Daichi stepped up, holding a volleyball under his arm. Now you guys have matching hairstyles. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you snickered. Hajime just has to be such a drama queen. You rolled your eyes. I was a meek and rolled up his sleeves as if he were ready to beat you to death. But the Hanamatsu duo was ready to stop the murder scene. After calming the boy down, Hanamaki thought it was only necessary to show your friend who his western cartoon doppelganger was. <coughs> Sorry. See, that's you from this morning. The four third years gathered from Hanamaki's phone, staring at a picture of the so-called Jimmy Neutron. You pulled your phone out of your pocket and opened a photo you took of him this morning. Holding the phone screen towards the boys, you grinned. Identical, eh? The team took a moment to analyze the two photos before bursting out into laughter. Akaha had to hold back his tears knowing he'd get a significantly worse beating if he let out a single laugh. These spot the difference are getting harder. Matsukawa snickered. Aizumi's eyes darted between the two screens, his face painted with pure anger. You took the measure that he wasn't pleased. Once again, you felt your collar being pulled as you were dragged out of the gym. The team watched as the two of you ex exited. Aizumi struts stern as usual. You held up a peace sign as the long squeaking of your shoes filled the gym and mouthed the words, Pray for me. The three third years held their hands together and bowed their heads in silence. It was nice knowing you. <coughs> I can't breathe. That's it really. I, I low-key can't breathe. <coughs> I hope you enjoyed me coughing for like a few seconds. <coughs> if I talk too much, I'll cough a lot to just equal it. Well, I hope you enjoy. Um, friendly reminder drink water, eat properly, see about the right time. Um, and don't forget to love and agree for yourself. If you go outside, please wear a mask, get a face mask, face protector. I forgot what it's called, but, anyways, hope you enjoyed. Sorry I keep saying that word. I just don't know what to say. Okay, bye.